food. Good morning, everyone. 10.05, February 22nd, 2017, Wednesday. I have to go to Target because I need some 18 month and 12 month onesies. I need um, to get some ribbon at Hobby Lobby for two glitter ribbon trims. Um, I need a few. I made a list. She's making a list. She's checking it twice. I also need some thread from Joann's, but I don't think we're going to Joann's. So, at Target, 12 month, 18 month onesies. Walmart, a 14, 16 shirt, a two, three t-shirts. Oh, and glitter ribbons at Hobby Lobby, and also I think their tool is on sale. So, I need some turquoise tool until my order comes in. So. And Dad might have to go to Dallas. Grabbing tool and the wedding supplies. All right, I see you. Bye. Well, that was a bust. They didn't have any shirts. They had two shirts, two size two t-shirts. All their stuff is all mixed up and hard to even go through and see if they had it. But I did get my 1416 shirt. And Hobby Lobby was out of the turquoise ribbon. And now we're going to grab some lunch at Dairy Queen. It is 7 o'clock. I'm downstairs. I'm going to embroider out a few orders. And I was just going to show you what I picked up real quick. This is a half yard of polka dot. It was $1.49 on clearance it was in a clearance bin and I use a lot of this for like ladybugs and mini mouses and yeah I usually buy these right here which are just the fat quarters for 99 cents but so I got double that because it's a half yard no I got you triple yeah I got triple that for a dollar forty nine so I thought that was a good little buy um, and then I had to go to Walmart. I need three t-shirts and all I found was this, which is a 1416 for an order. And then I need 18 month and 12 month onesies, which I picked up at Target. And I have to make two of these ribbon trims. And then I have another person that wants to order, um, but they haven't yet. I do have a stash up here already in case I had an order for it so um the one person is going to order or they have ordered two size eights so I will need um these are four yard rolls are they no three yard rolls so I will probably need two to three yards depending on how much tool I'm going to use I'm not sure yet it's a size eight so I want to make sure it's full and so I'll probably have to use a roll of each color on each tutu. There might be just a little bit left over, but that's alright. Now for the other one, it's going to be a 12 month, and I use a half. One and a half, one and a half, one and a half, one and a half, one and a half. So I'll use half of this roll, because it's three yards. So that's why I bought this, but they didn't have any turquoise. So I'll have to go back and hopefully get turquoise, but I went ahead and picked them all up because um, if I happen to go back when they're not on sale, because this week they're on sale, um, I can use a coupon. These weren't here, where? Two dollars. So, it would have been the same price because they're on sale, so, I don't know why the pinks 
or two bucks, but all right. So yeah, um, so I'll have enough right now to make one of the size eight tutus, but not the other one until I get another turquoise. And that's all I picked up today. I need to make my way to Joanne's. I need more pink. I've been using lots of pink. I've been getting lots of questions lately about sizing and embroidery and this is a five by seven. I think I answered it yesterday. But somebody wanna know um, how to make their design bigger. Um, you can use the Sew What Pro. If you Google Sew What Pro, you'll probably find a place where you can download a free trial version for 30 days. Um, or I'm gonna show you something really. Let me see if I can adjust layout. Okay. This is the one I'm actually working on this, but it won't let me. Um, there is a button on here I'll show you in a few minutes where you can up your size, but this one is as big as the hoop as you can see. Let's see if it'll zoom on it. Yeah, so it pretty much takes up the whole space there. They wanted two names, that's why. <laughs> but let me finish this one. It'll probably take me an hour. It's almost nine o'clock. It's oh, here we go. Right here. It's eight forty-six. Okay, I was gonna show you guys really quickly. Um, I finished this. You can't see. Oh, there it is. So I'm just trimming some of the things off here. But first, let me ask you. I know a lot of you have Etsy stores and sell um, different websites and stuff, but. You guys get asked a lot of, I'm not going to call them dumb questions, but like questions that are already answered inside of the listing. Like I get it so often. I mean, and I think, is it, is it me? Is it, you know, or is it just <clears throat> people in general don't read listings? Is that what it is? Because, um, I had, let me think of one. Because I had it the other... Oh, um, the listing was for my Minnie Mouse. <clears throat> and the question... And I always try to respond to questions. And I try to get to them as quickly as I possibly can. But that don't always happen. Because sometimes I'm bad to like read it. And I'm like... Ah, I'm not going to answer that because... And then sometimes I feel like a smart aleck. And I'm like... Well, if you read the description, it says this, but yes, it was my Minnie Mouse listing and they asked me if the hair bow came with it and I was like, hmm, well, let's just look at this. First, I had my husband read the listing and then I said, honey, does the hair bow co come with it? He was like, yeah. I was like, how hard was that for you to figure out? So it says first, first, as in number one in ST, and then first, then word first, because I did it, and you know, you never know what people are going to look for. So if you look on the description, it says first embroidered top with ribbon tutu dress, onesie tutu, and free hair bow on alligator clip with a headband, three pieces. Does a hair bow come with it? Um, I get people... Uh, I can't... <laughs> I ain't even gonna go any further because there's... Some of the questions I get are like, what? What? And it'll say something. Um, please include name. You know, personalization. Please include name at time of checkout. And they'll email me. Um, can you put a name on this? Read it, read it, read it. I know I'm not the only one, and but it just happens so, so many times, and you're like, another thing I get too. It's like I think people, I don't know, people will say, can you do? Um, I'm trying to give an example, but there was one person. She was like, can you do this in? yellow it was what was it I 
I don't remember what it was. But she was asking if I can change the color to yellow instead of white. And the color was yellow. And I even listed the colors inside of the description. But I don't remember for what tutu it was. But they are like, can you change the white to yellow? And I was like, what? I don't... And that was the only thing they wrote was, can you change the white to yellow? So looking at the picture, I'm like, the only thing white is the onesie. I was like, mm. so I responded back and I was like, I don't sell or I don't have any yellow onesies. I only have white ones. And then they responded back and they said, no, they don't want the onesie yellow. They wanted the um, tutu to be the white. The white and the tutu to be yellow. And I was like, well, there is no white in the tutu. It's yellow already. But anyway, let's, let's show you. <clears throat> so, okay, I'm done with this design. So here it is here. I'm going to go into my layout. This one's not going to be a very good one to show you because it's already big. But you can go into size right there in this little button right here. If you push it, it makes the design bigger. Let's make it smaller. So if you have a design and you load it into your machine and you can check to make sure it's as big as it possibly can be. If not, you can make it bigger by going right here. So there it is. Now I want to make sure I fill up all that space so I'm going to make it as big as possible until it leaps at me. So yeah, I just wanted to show that little tidbit because I know some people. I also had a question about how or when something about changing the thread. Um, you usually know when to change the thread. Um, it stops. Like after it does a step. Like when I was doing this one, it did this, the pink. First it did the outline where my fabric would go, and then I put my fabric down, and then it did the tack down, then I cut it out. Actually, it did all the fabrics first, and after I cut them all out, then it went in and it stitched this. And then when it was done, it stopped. And then I changed my ribbon, or my ribbon, <laughs> changed my thread to my hot pink which is here and then it stitched all that out then it was done and then it came over to little miss poppy over here and I think it was on her eyes or something so I knew it was going to be the white because the white goes down first and then after that it came over here to down here and I knew that was pink so I changed my thread to pink and then it stops somewhere in there and then it does this right here also does this up here before this but anyway yeah so it'll stop every time and you can guess usually by where the needle around where the needle is going is at as to what it's going to stitch out and you can always print out the little stitch sheets or the sheets the pictures of the design and uh, it'll have the usually let me see if I have some down here I used to print them out when I first started yeah. Gosh, look at the date on these. 2013. <laughs> so, um, I used to print out the whole thing, and then I found it easier just to print out designs. So I could just have a visual of it. So, yeah, this is from, this is 325-2013. But... So you can print out a picture. Happy Town Applique. I wonder if these still sell. Looks like all these came. And these were like some of the very first ones I got. Because it was around Easter. So. Um. Yeah. So whenever I get designs. <clears throat> I would print them out. Now I have like a million billion. So that don't work for me anymore. But this is what I'm talking about. There's, there's these kind right here which will give you um, 
the thread colors and stuff so it'll say number one is application or applique position so it's going to tell you where your positioning of your fabrics are and then number two the material you put it down and then number three the position again and then the material so apparently you're putting material probably the bird the bird the bird and then it's showing you where you put it down on the bird and then it's probably doing this one and then you're putting it down and then it's going to do tangerine number five which is probably the nose and then it's going to do yellow so it's going to do all of this and it's going to be do pink which is the bow and it's going to do black which is the eyes and then it's going to do white which is for the right there in the eyes and then refer to instructions to attach the skirt I think that said skirt right there so and then it's this is a, t a little bird that wears, wears a tutu so and here's another one so this will go through and tell you step by step which I didn't want to waste a full sheet of paper so some of them are kind of cut off but yeah so here's a picture of what it's gonna look like and then it's gonna show you that first it's gonna do the uh, little arms and the feet and then uh, arms and this and that and you know it goes step by step so when you're first starting out it's a good idea to print these off that way you're not totally lost you know what's funny I've had this design for how long and I've never printed it off and it's actually on this jump drive right here <laughs> maybe I'll make it for Sterling we'll see yeah he's a cat just yeah all kinds <clears throat> some of these designs I forgot I even had but I'm sure they're on my machine or on my computer yeah and that gives you a stitch count some of them I'm just interested in seeing what's down here first grade news when Storm was in first grade <laughs> anyway let me get to cutting my threads. Hey guys, it is 10 minutes to 12. I just finished my third troll. I'm all trolled out for the night.